All right, so I've got some goodies. I mentioned them last week from Eastwood. We're gonna open them up right now. I'm gonna show them to you guys. And then we're gonna test it out. All right, so this is Eastwood's 18 pound capacity vibratory tumbler. It has instructions. I'm gonna read them, I promise. I'm gonna break this thing open. Basically, what this thing does is it has media that goes inside of it. 18 pounds worth of media, I guess. Depending on the media, it does certain things. This unit will actually vibrate. You can put bolts, nuts, washers, pretty much anything that's metal and I think even maybe like some plastic parts and that sort of thing it will vibrate this media around those parts and clean them and polish them like I said I haven't read the instructions so I don't know that for sure but we're gonna find out <coughs> seven pounds of green pyramids And seven pounds of dry shine corn cob. Sounds interesting. All right, they also sent me this metal wash. So this says removes contaminants from metal surfaces prior to coating. Uh, can be used in tanks, parts washers, and pressure washers. Inhibits flash rush rust for up to three weeks. So I think that I'm supposed to mix this with some liquid. Put the liquid in with the media and it will help clean let's turn it on see what she sounds like see what see what kind of tune she can play Woo! it's pretty serious vibrating vibrations pretty serious vibrations all right, I put it off long enough. Time to read some instructions, see exactly how this thing is supposed to work. All right, so basically just scan through the directions. The two types of media are, first, the green pyramids. This is mainly for like scaly rusted parts. You throw this in there with whatever parts you want to clean and this will take care of that. The other media, the dry shine corn cob, it's for polishing. So it's basically telling me you gotta have a ratio of 70% 70, 70 media to 30% parts with the total combination not going over the 18 pound limit. Um, we're not gonna do that much, so it's not gonna take that much media. I'm just gonna throw some bolts in here, some pieces of metal that I have, maybe some. We're just gonna test it out. We're just gonna give it a trial run see what it can do we're gonna have a control bolt so basically the bolts that I get out are all gonna be the same degree of not shiny and we're gonna leave half of them out put the other half in there and that way when they're done we can pull them out and kind of compare what we've got so let's do this it says for the polish side it takes up to six hours so I may start this and then check on it tomorrow All right, so what I've done is I've just picked out some random stuff. I got some gussets that uh, were cut for me by one of you guys. It's a, actually TFF gusset. You can see it better like that. 
Okay, so I'm gonna throw one of those in. We're gonna leave one out as a control. An exhaust clamp. Same way, gonna leave one out, throw one in as a control. Got a partially surface rusted bushing. One will go in, one will stay out. Same thing with a bolt. Got two bolts that are partially rusted. One will go in, one will stay out. Your standard no frills bolt and a washer. So there you go. Half will go in, the other half will stay out. Uh, heck, let's just do this. So it might, might be a little more media than needed for just those few little parts. I'll let this thing do its thing, let it rock and roll. I'll probably check on it five, six hours. May let it run up to like 12 hours though. May come back to it in the morning and uh, we'll see what kind of difference we've got. All right, it is day two. It's been about, I don't know, a little more than probably 12 hours. So this is the one that has been tumbled. That's the one that I put in there before. Not a whole lot of difference in these two. There's still a little bit of surface rust that thing didn't get off, but it did polish it a little bit. The hangers, you can see a big difference. So that hanger is the one that was tumbled. It's perfectly clean. That one's kind of dirty, got some surface rust on it. The bushings are the same way. So this bushing came very, very clean. That's the original there. There are the washers. Almost like a brand new washer. And there's the bolts. I think this is stainless, but I'm not sure. I mean, it's got rust on it, which shouldn't happen if it's stainless, but... Um, I, mean, I guess it's possible that that rust could be from something else. So you can kind of see the difference there. And can't really tell a difference on these automotive bolts. I mean, this one is shined up a little bit. They weren't really that dirty. All right, you can probably notice this is a little bit louder now. Well, that's because I've taken out all the porn shine media and replaced it with those green pyramids. I mean, this video wouldn't be an official review video if I didn't kind of run through its paces with everything that it offered. Or at least everything that I had to my disposal. It's a little bit louder. That stuff's a little bit louder right there. So, this is the deal. I basically took all of the remaining pieces that I didn't already tumble, threw them in with the green pyramid media, and we're going to see what it does to that. So you remember what it looked like, you just seen it just a minute ago. I've run this thing for, let's see, probably six hours, five or six hours maybe, and I'm going to pull it out, wipe it off a little bit. It's a little bit dusty. I can already tell you that this is definitely more of the finish that I like. So it's almost kind of got this uh, etched finish to it. Kind of etched the metal a little bit. 
not really a big shine person so this is definitely the finish that I would like so you can see this was the polished version this is the etched version so that's those let's see what else is in here So there's your clamp, and it f for sure looks brand new now. The uh, corn shine stuff did pretty good of cleaning it, but those uh, those green pyramids really gave it a new look. So there's that bushing. Remember it was all rusted. The thing is legit clear of rust. It's got just a couple little tiny pits that would probably be taken care of if I ran it for a couple more hours. Seriously brand new. I mean it's even better than, than the shine did. There's the automotive bolt. And it has stripped it of its black oxide coating or whatever kind of coating that is and it's basically took it back to bare metal or it's on its way back to bare metal so there's that bolt stainless bolt used to have a bunch of rust right here and it is clean it is super clean there's a difference like I said it has more of an etched finish versus a polished finish And there's the washer so if you remember this washer was like a gold color it was dirty but it was also a gold color that was some kind of coating that comes on these things and you can see that it is taking that coating clean off Very cool. Uh, I think this is my media of choice for sure. These little green pyramids get in all the nooks and crannies and clean it real well. And they say that really what happens is these things kind of just deteriorate to nothing. And so you just keep adding media. And I think it's got like a port that should uh, dispose of the dust as it kind of dissolves down to nothing. So I'm gonna probably leave these in here. The thing that's nice about this too is you can actually detach it. You got a cover you can put on it. Um, when I switched the media, I just detached this whole tub from the motor, was able to pour it back in the bag and save it for later. If you did a lot of this stuff, you could probably use like some kind of plastic tubs or something to keep these in. That way you could rotate media. Um, I think personally, if I do a lot of tumbling, I will probably get just get me another one of these, have one for each style of media, and that way it's easy to just kind of go from one to the other. Because ultimately what you'd want to do is you want to go from this media into the polish, and uh, really kind of give it an even finer tumble. All right, guys, there you go. The 18-pound Vibratory Tumbler from Eastwood. They make two styles of this, so they make one that's smaller than that. I'll put a link in the description for both of those. You can go check them out. If it's something you think you might want or use, that would be the place that I would recommend getting it. Um, don't forget, Eastwood does offer free shipping uh, and I think right now they got a 10% discount running. Just use the coupon code, the Fab Forums, all one word, and that should work for you. If you have any trouble, just let me know. I think it's going to run through the first of the year, so you've got what, a couple more months? Get your free shipping and a possible discount. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Hope you enjoyed that. I will see you guys some more this week. Go do work, son.